After a successful house project, this client called us back to do their deck. This wasn't your typical deck. We're all about bringing visions to life, but this is what we received. This is gonna be a challenge, for sure. This client thinks outside the box for a living. So, when it came to his own home, he wanted to venture into the unknown while still respecting the vision of the original architect, Norman Jaffe. That guy's cool. He's pretty cool. Yeah. So everything from the hand-carved tub in the new primary bathroom to the terrazzo floors throughout this entire house, this house is oozing with creativity. So much so that it even earned a spot between the covers of Architectural Digest. Pretty cool. Once we received the call about this deck, we knew we were up for the challenge. With the home renovation finished, let's move on to the deck. Starting with an empty plot of land, the first step was getting the pool in. Once the pool was installed, we had to install 28 sauna tubes that will support the deck. Anybody in there? The walls will be dressed with real stone veneer. Just like Michelangelo, each piece must be chiseled to perfection to create the mosaic look we're looking for. Ah, so peaceful. Time for framing. Oh, here comes Dan. Just smushed my whole sandwich. What kind of sandwich was it? Peanut butter and jelly. <sighs> yeah. That's rough. I have one in my truck if you want. Nah. You want to share it? I'll still eat it, all smushed. Now let's turn to Custom Chris and learn how this Akoya deck is actually installed. You have a deck board that we have milled with a groove both sides. Basically this goes down. This is an epay clip. It has metal on the inside. This slips in here at the joist and then you pre-drill on a 45 through the groove into the joist and you install this stainless trim head screw. So then that locks it in place. And then the next board Slides onto that, and you put a clip on this side, and you just keep going. Has a, the clip has a built-in spacer, so everything stays the same. And then there's no surface, no surface screws, nails, anything like that to catch your feet on, or it just looks a lot nicer. And that's just a clean, smooth board on top. All right, Chris. Now show us how it's done. Part of the deck down, 
Let's check out some of the progress on some of the highlights of this project. The curved staircase. The accent wall. And the giant moon structure that houses a kitchenette and luxury outdoor shower. Believe it or not, we had to freehand cut the curve of this accent wall. You might be wondering how the Akoya wood was bent over the stairs, accent wall, and moon structure. Oops. We had to build a 20-foot steam box and house each piece of wood for two hours. This made the wood flexible for just enough time while we bent the wood over each structure. Well, that's a wrap on this project. Subscribe so you don't miss what's to come. See you next time.